Hey dolls, welcome back to another video, love of your of course. And we about to get into these eyes. Today I'm just bringing your eyes because I just don't want the videos to be too long. If you guys need my skin routine tutorial on here, just let me know. I'll have it for you guys by the next week, I promise. Just let me know if you guys need it. If nobody comments that they need the my skin tutorial, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep doing eyes, honestly. But, um, yeah. You guys already know you got to base and make sure when you base your eyelids to take away dark marks, discoloration, or whatever. It's a nice matte concealer that will nicely grab your shadows. So, we're going to go into this palette. I used this palette on here already, I think. And this is from Glitter Real on Instagram. You could use my code. It's Lavidia Willing. It's no, just Lavidia to get 12% off. This palette is super pigmented. You guys might might want to get this palette, honestly. So I'm just doing. Oh, I hope you guys are in my stomach. Oh my god, I just woke up. So I'm just doing a um a long a long cut crease. You I did one the other day on Instagram and everybody was like. Oh, you need to put a tutorial on your channel. Like, I have my tutorials like this on my channel. But, okay, since you guys say it, I'm just going to do this. I mean, this is not really... I'm not going to say, oh my god, this is everything. This is really a simple... The only thing hard about this was the um cutting the crease, honestly. Because when I cut my crease like this, it always... When, well, when I cut my crease overall, I don't know if you guys notice, one is always higher than one, um, especially... Uh, no not especially one is always higher than one because one of my eyelids are higher than one i don't know if you guys notice my brows one is higher than one as well but i try to make them even sometimes they look even but as soon as i finish my makeup everything looks uneven so yeah but like i say make sure you have the correct base i know you guys are waiting for me to say what base i use and it was the uh, Makeup Revolution C1 concealer. It's really, really light. And because I know I was going for a really colorful look, I had to drag me that concealer around, okay? So that's what I used. And you guys see me showing you guys the shadow and all that, okay? So, when I, like I said in one of my recent videos, whenever you lost a color, all you got to do is go back in with the color. And to go back, the when blending from the crease air, remember starting from lighter to dark, it's easier to find colors back. If you if you start blend from your, from your brow bone, it's harder to find colors back. But if you start in, in your um, crease area, it's easier to find colors back, okay? And when I say finding colors back, it's just going back in with the brush you use where you, the color of the color you lost. Simple, really, really easy. That's really, really what blending is about. It's just going back in with whatever color you lose, you use. Because when you guys saw me blending that yellow, orange, and that purple, I lost that purple, but I found it back. And you guys see now, I cut my crease. It's over that line. And that's how you know you have a nicely sharp cut crease so i'm just adding these colors to my lid area i know you guys are wondering what the hell did she use for that neon liner that's from my makeup pigment i cannot leave it on my pigments i have to use them on my eye it's the it's the fastest thing to, to work for me because shadows really don't work for me on my um bottom like bottom lash line and under my eyes like regular shadows really do not really work for me so i really have to draw from my pigment and to make my liners because i don't not have neon liquid liners so i have to use my pigments for that and to lay my my liner down using the pigments i just make a wing using the same concealer which is c1 from um Makeup Revolution is the same concealer I use for my base for the whole eye look. And um, then I apply my, just make sure it dries down like you want it, the, um, the base on your eyelids to dry down. Yeah, so just make sure it dries down and correctly um, dry before you apply your pigment. Likewise, your, your, your um, shadows for your eyes. So yeah, that's basically what I did, like 
that's basically what I always do when I do um a neon liner or something. I've tried liquid liners, but I can never ever find whatever to work for me. And girl, I'm not gonna get a liquid liner for like twenty dollars, thirty dollars. No, I'm not doing that. So I'm doing this way out. This might take a little bit more time, but I had time. So when I have time, I do these looks. So yeah. Even the last look you guys see on my Instagram. For those who are following my Instagram, make sure you follow my Instagram. If you're not currently following it, it's the same thing as my YouTube name. Even this look I did um the other day, it's the same. It was just like a neon pigment I used for that blue liner. And that was like everything. Okay? That was everything. So, you know, I got to get that um black liner on and in. And that's the Sephora Matte Liner. I doubted this liner, but after all, it came through. Still cracks a little bit, like almost every liner I've tried cracks a little bit, but it have it good, it have it bad. So nothing gonna be perfect. Like show me something that's mad perfect. I'll get it. Cause when it comes to my liner, I'm really serious. So I'm just throwing the mix of the NYX Jumbo Pencil in milk under my eyes and um Adding my um, pigment on my waterline, my bottom lash line. I add that off camera because you guys, I don't remember how did I do it on camera this one time, but I couldn't do it this time. I really couldn't do it. But then I add some purple shadow underneath and pack, 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 pack. I be, I've been packing that so it could be really pigmented and nice. Like I was packing that. Takes forever, but yeah. And then. I just add my lashes. These are Sanj from my lash line. I think I leave the link below one of these videos. Oh my god, I always say I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I never did it, but you know what? I should be able to like take a uh, over today and like edit all the bottom of the videos that have no info underneath. That's really really bad. You guys should be cursing me out. And then you know this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll definitely see you dolls in my next video. If you have any questions, just throw it right on the knee. I'll definitely answer y'all. And like I said, thank you for checking my YouTube out. Thank you for subscribing, you babies. And oh babies, thank y'all for sticking around. Okay? Okay? <laughs> this was really cute when I was done. I liked it. But as you can see, it's not even. But bye y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in.